just to begin first, uh, just to say I love wearing masks, and I know that all of you do too. Um, this is yet another fresh mask that I have. Uh, this one is from the Thailand Institute of Justice, the Rule of Law and Development uh, Program. So just to encourage all of you to continue to uh, wear masks. Uh, we love wearing masks. I do too. So today is Friday, the 22nd of June, 2020, and this is the daily press briefing of the CCSA for today. Uh, first of all, just to pre provide um, an update uh, first on uh, our international affairs, the ASEAN uh, summit. But before that, of course, just to remind that, of course, the Prime Minister came out last week with a very important uh, message, the nation building program, the nation strengthening program that he has called the Ties Together Build Thailand, Ruom Thai Sang Chat. Today, the Prime Minister, uh, this morning actually, the Prime Minister, uh, together with other ASEAN leaders, attend, is, are attending the 36th ASEAN Summit via uh, video conference, chaired by Vietnam, under the theme Cohesive and Responsive ASEAN, to discuss how to further strengthen cooperation on public health emergencies, and put in place a robust post-pandemic recovery plan. Uh, it is the first uh, virtual uh, meeting in a formal ASEAN uh, summit in history. We have some uh, images of this meeting that is ongoing at the moment, uh, right, right now, as we speak on screen for you. Yes, and on the local uh, domestic development regarding uh, COVID, the, we have some information details for you. First of course is that you've seen in the news about the uh, possible extension of the emergency decree until the 31st of July, which is under consideration by the CCSA. The decree would enable uh, relevant agencies to continue to integrate their efforts in combating the pandemic and uh, enable the government to effectively implement the measures. Uh, the decree has also facilitated the holistic uh, response to the pandemic through the CCSA, through, through this structure that uh, you're, you're listening to right now. And so far, we have seen uh, the successful uh, relaxation of various measures in easing the restrictions as the situation uh, improves. And the spokesperson also mentioned this, of course, that the remaining businesses uh, that are deemed uh, high risk, such as pubs, uh, bars, gaming shops, uh, large Soapy massage parlors uh, will uh, soon be allowed uh, to, to open. Uh, this decision, decision will be finalized on uh, Monday, this coming Monday, the, uh, June the 29th, at the general CCSA uh, meeting. This will be finalized then. Um, it's, it will be, uh, we're talking about after this fourth phase now, which will most likely may begin on the uh, 1st of July. And these business establishment, establishments uh, uh, would possibly be open, but under uh, strict health and safety measures to control uh, the spread of, of COVID. All of the business establishments uh, that uh, are not open and will soon be open in July will have to be registered with the Thai Shana uh, platform. The Inspector General of the uh, Ministry of Digital Economy also came and gave a, a briefing just now regarding Thai Shana. Uh, certain developments that we have in the uh, platform and the application. Uh, for example, the application can now uh, enable users to register uh, for visiting uh, museums and uh, natural parks, uh, for, for example, in, in advanced, uh, as well as, of course, the group check-in in Thai China that's already functional. And uh, four languages are already functional in the Thai, thai China uh, platform. Uh, in Bahasa Malaysian, uh, uh, Myanmar language, uh, English, and, and Thai, of course. The CCSA, of course, will also be deliberating on the details of the draft and relaxed uh, measures for a wider group of uh, foreign nationals entering Thailand. The spokesperson mentioned this uh, last uh, Wednesday as well. The, there would be an expansion of the visitor groupings uh, who will be allowed to enter Thailand under health and strict health and safety uh, me measures. So for the numbers of cases that we have. Just to recap, because we did not have an, uh, a, a briefing uh, from the CCSA yesterday, yesterday on Thursday. Yesterday, one new infection, a one-time male, age 20, returning from Egypt, currently under the state quarantine system. 
He arrived in Thailand on the 9th and was found to be infected on the 24th of June, uh, and he was asymptomatic. For today, we continue to have uh, zero new domestic cases, but four new imported cases have been reported. So we have coming up uh, for you the uh, slide in terms of the uh, new confirmed cases. Yes, you see they're here now, four, uh, making the cumulative number 3,162. Out of that number, over 96% have recovered or been discharged already and no fatalities. The four, on the four uh, cases, which are all imported cases, uh, we have two who are Thai nationals returning from Sudan. Uh, both uh, went into the quarantine system in Samut Prakan province, found to be infected on the 24th of June. They had symptoms of uh, fever, loss of the sense of smell, uh, coughing and sore throat. The other two, also female Thai nationals, returned from the repatriation flight uh, from the UAE on the 13th of June and entered the quarantine system in, in Bangkok infected on the 24th of June, and they were asymptomatic uh, as well. So just some observations on the number for today. Uh, no new COVID case uh, domestically now for the 32nd day already. We have been with no domestic infection for 32 days now, only imported cases, all into the, uh, placed into the quarantine system uh, during this period. Of course, however, even though we have 32 days of no domestic infection, uh, it does not mean that we are safe and far and worry-free from, from COVID, of course, because there's always the possibility of a second wave of infection. As you see in the news and as the spokesperson had, had recapped many times, uh, a number of countries have already been entering the second wave uh, already, uh, despite the precautions, despite the all the uh, excitement of, 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 of having uh, low COVID uh, cases, they are returning to the second wave already with a certain uh, infections, new infections, new, new clusters. I think around three uh, or four countries already officially. It's uh, still highly advised, of course, to practice uh, good hygiene standards and minimize the risks of getting infected uh, by COVID. Our new normal practice still stands, of course, has been a part of everyday life uh, for now. So in terms of uh, some images that we have, as usual, um, we have today some images from the Royal Thai Consulate General in Calcutta, Kolkata, India, uh, visiting the Thai uh, Muslim community, distributing relief supply uh, kits uh, comprising of goods such as medicines, alcohol, gels, and uh, face masks. Um, these citizens were in Calcutta, Kolkata since March for uh, religious activities and currently are waiting for the repatriation flight uh, back to Thailand. Their uh, living conditions is uh, standard, hygienic, and have been tested uh, COVID negative. Another uh, picture image that we have coming up is the, from the Royal Thai Embassy in Tehran, Iran, uh, assisting 69 stranded Thai nationals uh, in Iran and Iraq uh, on a repatriation flight back to Thailand. Um, they have been tested COVID negative by the uh, COV2 qualitative real-time PCR method uh, before departing to Thailand. Yes, so just in terms of uh, some reminder notes for today, asking, of course, everyone to continue to remain vigilant and continue practicing good hygiene standards to protect yourself and your uh, loved ones. Oh, we had uh, some Q&As, of course, addressed to the spokesperson about the numbers. And I mentioned just now, of course, that uh, low numbers of domestic infection or low numbers of uh, imported infection does not mean that uh, we should uh, put our guard uh, down. It's very important. The numbers are, might be kind of uh, misleading uh, in, in, some, in some sense. So just to uh, recap, the five plus uh, one measures, you have a, an infographic on, on screen. Uh, for you uh, of very great importance. Uh, face masks, washing hands frequently, keeping uh, cleanliness, social distancing, avoiding crowded areas. Those are the five. And plus one, of course, using the Taishana. And just to recap one, once again, of course, 
it's very important of course to of us to uh, follow the various measures uh, already announced uh, even until uh, today it's been many months already of course with with, with covid uh, but of course let's try to uh, keep our guard up until the uh, very end at the end of june uh, we'll end the fourth phase and in july that'll be the I'm not, I'm not sure if we'll call it the fifth phase or or no phase at all, uh, returning back to normal. But in returning back to normal, it's very important for us to remain uh, strong, to remain uh, vigilant. And I'll just part by saying once again, I love wearing masks, and I'm sure that you uh, do as well. Thank you very much, and have a very pleasant afternoon. Sorry, Cap.